today, guys, I'm going to be making a chicken bowl out of food that was left to be forgotten or thrown away. So for you guys who think I'm wasting, this marinara sauce was left out overnight by my brother, who was trying to make a pizza and forgot to put it away. This just wasn't eaten fast enough, and this pizza got left out. So instead of throwing it away, I'm going to do the more reasonable thing and put it all in the bowl and feed it to my chickens. So in go these. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, and we got those in there, a little bit more. And that in. It's looking good so far. I like that nice banana at the bottom. They really like mushy stuff for some reason. And in goes the sauce. I was forgotten, sadly. I. Oh. Surprise! Surprise! Did not expect to find that in there. Yeah. My younger brother was making a pizza. We'll put that in there. And some leftover frozen pizza. This is that pizza was frozen pizza. But we didn't make that. It's not in there. We cook a lot in our family, so um, we use a lot of this kind of stuff, and I'm not surprised since we use it so much that we forget about it, because you know we're more entertained by the pizza part of it. Yum, yum. And I think they're going to love that. It's not done. I'm going to use that can. Ooh, it almost slipped out, and they'll love it. Well, I think I'm going to wash my hands before I click the done button on the camera. So excuse my absence. There we go. Go off a little bit. Little noodle. And time to, time to feed it to the chickens. Do you guys remember those frozen treats that we made a couple of videos ago? Now they're completely frozen and kind of sticky. So let's put one of those in there to top it off. Okay, it's not very cold, so I don't want to put a couple of them in there in case you don't like them. They're looking excited. Because they would rather eat here than put a slot bowl. I just acquired a new slot bowl. So that'll be good. It'll keep them from separating. It'll keep them from eating their poop instead of the um, food. So that wouldn't be very good for them. I don't think. Okay. And I'll worry about that in a minute. See, this is my old one. And it's kind of getting rusty. I don't really want them to get rusted. Like, rust inside their food and stuff. Doesn't sound very good. They're happy. I let them out two or three times a day. They like to look around for bugs and stuff. Done. You're a happy chicken. You're a very happy chicken. So, um, tell me what you guys think about my new editing app. This is just a normal camera, but the editing app is a little different. You see, um, it's weird how it records. It really is. Whenever I try to upload the video, it'll go, it'll have this. It'll be smaller, than, it, won't, it won't be a full screen, that's what I'm trying to say. It's hard to explain, you know? Weird, different. I'm gonna eat some pebbles. See, they have a gizzard, they don't really have teeth, they have a, be um, a beak, so... They need to eat little rocks and stuff to kind of grind up and chew their food up. What you looking for, General? What you looking for? See, we tried to make a boat out of that ladder by putting pool noodles on it. You guys can see there's one of the pool noodles. Yeah. <laughs> that did not work. Went down to the creek and just got wet. There's the food. 
slop. You know, if someone would really mix that up, just look at that. It kind of looks like spaghetti. Like ravioli. Like weird ravioli. And there's the one. She's brooding. That one right there. It's a brooding chicken. So that's good because we don't have a rooster, but if we had a rooster, she'd be the one to sit on the eggs. And they would all do some form of brooding if we had a rooster, because then that triggers some hormone in it. Aren't you guys so adorable? They've got a nice little place along the house to look for pebbles and rocks to put in the gizzard. Eat. So I had two rode on the reds, and I got a rode on the red. I don't know where she is. She roosting. Oh, she is roosting. So now one of my Rhode Island Reds. She's an old Rhode Island Red. My other two Rhode Island Reds are just about a year old. Less than a year. Oh, I love them so much. They're so adorable. Oh, birds like to make their nest up by the gutter. They always have to knock them down. They always make their nest super really good. And one of them, the most recent one, I just went on vacation, four day vacation, and a bird had been making their nest for a good four days. Oh, don't eat the robin egg. And there was a robin egg. And they just ate the whole thing. Oh, little dummies. Oh, so dumb. It's cute at the same time. I'm not smart enough to realize that it. Ugh. What you looking for, General? So the black one's General Washington. The president of all the chickens. No! <laughs> ah! Curious little one she is. She's one of the ones that are like four or five years old compared to these ones. And like Frankie in general, the one in the roosting box and this one, they are, they think they're so much better than the little ones. Like, oh my goodness. See, my siblings named all these and they forgot the names. So I don't. Probably have names for them. See this one right there. We call her Jumper because she jumps out, and we cannot get her back in. Well, we can just she'll jump back out again. So we normally just leave her out. And the other chickens are so jealous. It's I wouldn't say hilarious. It's kind of like, oh. Here's a chicken blog, or vlog, I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm not sure anyone really does. Oh, where'd you get? <laughs> they all want to go look at them leaves. There must be a lot of slugs and stuff in the leaves. Maybe even some worms and good stuff it's like looking for a cookie hidden by your mom in the cupboard you know because they always have to hide the cookies in my house and it's always hidden really good probably in the cupboard or somewhere so it's like them looking for a bug deep in the leaves and stuff throughout the yard if that relates at all <laughs> it's kind of making stuff up you know It's wet, very wet. It's kind of sprinkling right now. It's kind of rainy. And so they're all fluffing up, trying to stay dry. There's a jumper again. I know one of them's name is Fireman Chicky. And one of them's name 
is Chili White Wing. And Darth Feather, like Darth Vader, Darth Feather. She's like, what? What are you doing? Are you filming? I want to be in your film. What? On YouTube? Yes. Oh, can I be in it? I'm in the film. What? Yeah, she, she's very curious. She's one of the more curious uh, year old ones. Most of the time it's General and Frank. General and Frankie being curious, but. Yep. See those woods over there? Way over there. They really like to go back in there and dig in the poison ivy. And I got chicken ivy. It's where I had to go look for those chickens. And I got poison ivy, so. Yeah. It's pretty funny. It's, you know, it's even funnier. It's how I went to the doctor and they couldn't diagnose it. I went to this, like... I went to like three different doctor's offices in three different towns and like, oh my goodness, they couldn't diagnose it. I'm like, for a rural area like this, I'm technically in town. There's a lot of houses around. But if you look way off in the distance over there, behind, beside that house, there's a cow farm, a legit cow farm. And it's a free range one. And these people right here wanted to have a horse place right through here, which didn't work out. I gotta get the chickens away from that fence. That white fence, that family has a dog. Ugh, it's a mean one. Come on, dummies. I better go get the chicken stick out. Just... Come on, come on. Go. Go, go, go. Go! 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 Hurry up! Go on! For some reason, it's always been a goal by my chickens to go by that fence and see if they can annoy the dog. These are the slides. See this thing, my dad put that up there. This is kind of like the playhouse, but it's really, it's kind of, I don't know how to describe it. I wouldn't say an abandoned property, just kind of neglected-ish. I don't know how to, but we've done stuff with it. We've always played on it. And here is where the snow would build up and go sledding way off and hit the pool. Oh, there goes his dog. Going nuts. <laughs> All my neighbors have dogs and they all go nuts when they see the chickens. Well, chickens don't seem to care. They're just chilling, hanging out. <laughs> They're like, what's back there? Hmm? Is there monsters? They... <laughs> that one chicken was so curious to go under there. Sorry if my neighbor's dogs are going nuts in the background. Yeah. See. It's neighbor's dogs. More neighbor's dogs. Come on, General. General, come on. Move along, General. Come on, move. Move, General. Time to go. See, um... She's one of the old ones, and she kind of stands her ground. <laughs> so it's early spring, it's still April, and the pool we drained it, and it's bleh. we're gonna have to get that figured out. Yeah, it's, it's a mess. I guess I'm gonna be at. I'm just, I'm gonna be happy. Ugh. Tongue twister. I guess I'm gonna have to be the one who gets in the pool with the towel and scrubs it. <laughs> just finding something. See, whenever we we used to move our coops around, and this is from last year. This is where the coop was last. And wild like 
plants and stuff just seem to come up real fast in this area. That's for the garden. I just put some garden lime around, so that's what the white stuff is. We haven't tilled it yet, but you put some fertilizer in it last year, and ooh, everything's just popping out of the ground. And there's some chicken manure. I told my dad to compost it, but ah. Uh, So my mom's friend is going to get a tiller for us to till the garden with. Because my other one won't start. Maybe I can get my dad to fix it when he comes. Oh, going near that woods again. That guy is really old. He calls it his habitat. <laughs> and, yeah. Well, recently he died, and whoever inherited the house took and cleared up his habitat, and apparently it's coming back the next year. They just looked over there lately, and whoo, that poison ivy. It seems like it comes back every time you try to pull it out, even better than it was the previous year. My two compost bins. Like a couple days, a few days ago, maybe, what, four days ago, five days ago, it snowed. And the snow didn't last very long, less than 12 hours. It, in less than 12 hours, it melted. But legit, maybe three, four inches of snow. Hello, aren't you a cutie? Aren't you a cutie? So I've got these little Star Wars figures and some super glue, and we're getting rid of our old van, our tan van right there, and I'm gonna super glue them in the truck. They are. I got um, R2D2 and uh, C3PO, and, um, Darth Vader, and Count Dooku, and Obi Wan Kenobi. And what's that fact I called? Jabba. Yep. Oh, I just dropped one of them. The chickens came over running. I'm glad I picked them up before they could eat them. I'll put those back in my pocket for safekeeping. This one's really curious about what my shoes are. I forget which one really hated my shoes. When she was like a baby probably still is a baby. They never really come out of that baby stage. They're always cuter ever. But when she was super young, she hated my Crocs. It might have been this one. If I'm not mistaken, that one's Darth Feather. She's got the darker feathers out of all the yellow ones. Sadly, I had a yellow one die earlier. She was our fattest yellow one. I don't know why she got fat. <laughs> but we buried her earlier and if you guys want to see the progress I'll show it to you right now so there's the previous tree I planted over her it died <laughs> and that was right on, on top of her and they were cut out trees I'm thinking they got transplant shot but luckily I planted another little um, evergreen tree and my, it might contribute to the reason they died is that the animal wasn't decomposed enough and the like the fluids and stuff of the chicken kind of put that thing out too because normally the it's disgusting I don't want to talk about it so there <laughs> there's the other tree I planted I put some extra fertilizer with this tree so it'll give it enough time by the time the roots reach over there hopefully the um the chicken will be all decomposed and good. And this thing will suck up the chicken and grow to be as big as those trees. Ooh. It's actually starting to rain. Oh, and the chickens are going to those trees again. Oh. 
It's funny how, like, one of them gets separated. Oh, I just don't want him to get caught in the old man's habitat. Um... I'm just going to try to make them go this way. Ah! Come on, you! Come on! Silly dum-dums. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? So, like I said, it's starting... Oh, what are you eating? Are you... Oh, little dum-dum! just took and ate up the, I just spit out some snot. <coughs> Nasty, making me gag over there. Oh, now they're getting spread out. It's hard for me to herd them. Normally I, I had the chicken stick, which I might just go get in a minute. To kind of herd them. Come on. Come on. I just love how they run. Oh my goodness, they run so adorable. And then when they try to run super fast, they flap their wings. The little lizard feet. They, they descend from dinosaurs. Most dinosaurs were lizards. You can see the little lizard feet. You see, they do better in the uh, cold than they do the heat. Just surprising. Interesting fact. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go. It's wet, so all the worms come up to explore. And chickens love worms. <laughs> kind of obvious. They're little meat eaters. A little finch over there. I don't think I can get that very good on the camera. See, when the old chickens were babies, probably a few months old, they attacked this robin. Poor thing. Like, the robin, like, got away, but they did not, like, oh my goodness. It was pretty funny, actually. Like, the whole flock of six went after this robin. And it was probably a fairly young robin, too. Probably not very smart robin. So, <laughs> he was probably new at flying. Had a hard time taking off. So, I'm still just trying to herd them. I'm doing kind of a good job. I hope I don't jinx it right there, because right now they're kind of getting... Off. See, we used to have eight chickens a few months ago, so I keep trying to count eight, and <laughs> I've only got six right now, because the one's laying, Frankie's laying an egg, the other one died. So, seven chickens to count. See, I really care about my animals. Um, when you go out and take care of them every day, you really get attached to them. I got them as a pet, so, <laughs> um, not really for meat or eggs, they're, they're my pets, 
So, yeah. We're getting into the driveway area. And there's the van that we're going to get rid of. It's got a bad dent. And, yep. See, so yeah, I put the Star Wars figures right there on the dashboard. And there's where the little markings are. I can see it better in person. The camera's a little blurry. Here. To demonstrate on what a chicken stick is, I might just use this net. But they'll be scared of it. You make it you make them think that it's something scary. Oh, here's a little tree that I saved. Probably give that to a very special person on a very special day. Okay, my mom. Mother's Day. And see, I picked up the stick and they know it's time to go home. They're like, oh, gotta go home. Now they're herded better than ever. They're actually going faster than me. It's hilarious how much a stick can do. This is less than a meter long. Whenever you guys have chickens, I recommend having something that's longer than a meter. And, mm -hmm. yep. Oh. Even through the bushes, the dogs are just going nuts. Because they can barely see them. Like, right through there. And here we are, right back where we began. And there we go. Well, that about summed up the video. And close the cage up. And chicken stick. This is what I was talking about. I made these out of um, old... What are they called? Golf clubs. And they put a little pool noodle at the end, and they really don't like it. You see, I used this, and I heard them back and forth. They kind of shake it a little bit. Maybe they think it's a snake. Maybe they think it's a something. I don't know what they think it is, but they don't like it. So, I keep those right there. And, good. So... There's the food. Doesn't look like they think it's too appetizing because they do not like it. Do not like it. She's looking at me like, why did you put this right there? Why? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so cute. Well, like and subscribe. Oh. What'd she think? What'd she think? First bite. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more. More updates on the chickens. I do other things. I do gardening. I do uh, all sorts of stuff. This year's garden is going to be bigger than ever, and I hope you guys tag along for that, and this will just be an amazing year, I hope. Hopefully nothing like last year happened, and <laughs> that was pretty bad, and um, I'll see you guys later.